Hi guys, got another workout video for you here today. I'm going to explain another one of the Tuesday workouts for you. It's quite a nice simple one to do this week. So it's eight rounds of robots on the board and they're fairly basic sort of four minute rounds. So within each round, in the first minute, you've got 12 to 20 single arm overhead lunges. That's essentially going to be six to 10 on each leg. In the second minute, you've then got six to 10 single arm rows on each arm. Third minute, you've got eight to 12 broad jumps. And then the fourth minute, you've got 12 to 20 press ups. So just remember within that format then, one, two, three, and four, you've basically got a minute to do each section. So if it takes me 40 seconds to do my lunges, I'll then rest for 20 until the end of the minute before I move on to the next part. You'll probably find that the exercises that are in there are not gonna be really, really gassy. You'll probably find that you're not really out of breath going through this. And it's probably a little bit more strength oriented than some of the other workouts you're probably doing at the moment, but should be quite a nice change of pace for you. With the overhead lunges that are in there, just remember they're single arm, so you're basically working one leg, one arm at a time. So what I would do with them is set up with the dumbbell on the one side. I would do six of my reps, like this, that's one, two, and so on, until I've done six. And then when I've done six, I'll set up with the weight on the other side, and I'll then do six alternating legs again, like that. That just means you can sort of divide the reps up evenly. So remember that'll be six to 10 on each side with them. Technique wise, because you've got the weight above your head, we're just looking for you to stay really nice and upright. So your ideal position is gonna be the weight directly above you, in line with your body, so that when I'm in my bottom position, it's gonna look something like this. So it's got right above my body, arm locked out. And bear in mind, obviously, as I'm stepping down into that position, I'm trying not to let everything come forward. Because if that happens, you might find that the position collapses a little bit. So I'm trying to stay nice and upright, even as I'm stepping down into the lunge. You might find that you struggle with the sort of mobility side of them and the flexibility side of them a little bit. So if that's the case, we can spend a bit longer warming up, or you can always scale the exercise something a little bit simpler, particularly for something easy for your shoulders, really. You could potentially let the arm bend in a little bit and see if you can hold it there. That's going to be much more work for the muscles around the arm and the shoulder, but easier to maintain. Or you could just bring it down to the front rack and do your reps like that. Or you can have the weight by the side. Or you go in the front rack position like that as well. So they're all different variants on the lunge, but the overhead position isn't as challenging, uh, sorry, the shoulder position isn't as challenging as if you had the weight overhead. The single arm rows that you've got in there, remember that's six to 10 on each arm, so it's basically the same reps as what we're saying for the lunges. So you set up, in split position for them, kind of pulling up, trying to squeeze the shoulder back in that top position. So it's not just my arm bending, I'm trying to open up into that top position. So you do six to ten of them on each side. Your broad jumps, you're just you jumping forwards. Give us a really good powerful jump on these. You know, try and really get as much out of them as you can. And, and you know, we don't want to see like a little forward hop like that. But try and give it some well in jump as far as you can. I think that was a good shot there. Um, Try and jump as far as you can on these and, and test your legs out a little bit. The press ups, same as normal with them. We want to see the whole body move together. They can be done from your pull position, like this, or they can be done from your knees if you want to, or you could always go for a combination of the two and do a bit of a mix. And the main thing with them and the rows is if you're in a position where you're getting fairly comfortable with your weight now and you can do these sorts of numbers of reps fairly manageable. You can always slow the reps down a little bit. So you can maybe do, for example, on your rows, the same thing, but you're just gonna hold for a couple of seconds, then lower back down. Hold for a couple of seconds at the top, and lower back down. You can do the same thing at the bottom of the press-ups. So it would just make them that little bit harder if you find that you're starting to get used to the difficulty of doing single arm rows and press-ups. I know we do them fairly frequently in these Tuesday workouts. But like I said, overall, very simple workout. You've got lower body, lower body, upper body, upper body in there. Um, and you just want to be aware of the sort of time constraints of it. In terms of a warm-up, this is what I've set up. So just to talk you through that, you've got the lunge and the shoulder swings in there to start. So that's just any lunge variation you want. So you'll do 10 of them. And then the shoulder swings could be across the front like that. Could be going backwards like that, whatever you fancy. Basically, you just want to get your legs and your shoulders moving. So you'll do two times through that pairing, and then after that, we'll target your shoulders specifically. 
So the scap rows that I've written on there, we're looking to set you up again in that bent over position, and I'm just pulling my shoulder back without bending my arm. So I'll do five of them on each side, and then three rows on each side when I'm doing the full movement. Same idea with the press ups. I'll do 10 scap press ups where my arms are staying straight, and then I'll go into the set five full press ups. The overhead split squats that are in there, the idea with them is to practice doing the movement without having the same step into it. So I'll actually start in this split position here, lower myself down, and then back up to standing like that. So I'm not having to worry about my momentum going forwards on them, I can just practice staying nice and upright. And then once you've done some of them, try the actual lunges and try the step forward into it and see can you still keep control of the movement. Um, but that should be a nice sort of technique progression to build onto, just to get a feel for can you get into that vertical position or not. As always, if you want anything more specific in terms of warm up or scaling or anything like that, please get in touch with me or one of the other coaches and hopefully we can, uh, we can help you out with that. But otherwise, enjoy and I'll see you for another one next week.